Hey everyone, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick video for a scam alert which is going on right now in a story that has been uh, making the news for the past couple of days and I thought, well, I think it would be nice to at least have people understand um, who is affected by this and what actually it does. So, 711 million emails have been um, at least have been in a list for a uh, banking phishing scam that's going on through email and now I just want to be very clear the list contains 711 million emails there's not 711 million emails sending out the scam but there's a lot and according to the latest numbers, it's more than 100,000 right now. And I'll uh, explain how to check and um, how to stay safe and how to know if you're on the safe side. So, of course, this is a scam that uses emails and passwords that were found in a list previously. Um, that means somewhere a website has been um, compromised and that de the details, of course, are available. So, an example, if you had a Yahoo email, we know that Yahoo had been uh, compromised twice in the past and that these emails and your passwords were actually on the internet in lists. Uh, so, if you're on a website that has been, um, you know, compromised in the past, like um, there's LinkedIn, there's uh, Adobe, if you had an, an account at Adobe, and there are many other services, um, Dropbox. If you have been using these services and were using the same password with your email, that is a possibility that you can actually, uh, your email can be used without your knowledge to send uh, phishing scams everywhere. Now, Simplest thing you can do if you're scared of that and thinking, oh God, maybe it's happening, simply change your password. It's the only thing. It will totally secure you immediately. Change your password and please choose a complex password. Even better, use two-factor authentication. Now you're thinking, oh, is there a place I can actually check out if I've been compromised? Uh, yes, and I'll post the link to this website I've talked about this website in the past. Have I been pawned is a great place to see if your email has been compromised in a data breach somewhere. So for example, let's use the email I use regularly to uh, demonstrate, help with your computers. So this is one of the emails for this, uh, for the live show on Tuesday. So you enter your email and you click pawn at the end. And if it's green, no pawnage found, good news, your email has not been in any lists of possible emails that are compromised with passwords. Now I'll give you an example of what I mean by your email might be compromised in, but not necessarily used. I'll use my Yahoo email. Of course, being a Yahoo email, it will show up as being pawned. So I click here and it says, oh no, you've been pawned and there are three breach sites that have the information. So it tells you Adobe in October 2013, 153 million Adobe accounts. I was in there. Uh, Onliner spam bot. This is what I'm talking. 711 million unique email addresses and maybe passwords. So you see that my Yahoo email is that in that list. It's in that list because it's part of a list that has Yahoo compromised emails. Now, that does not mean that my Yahoo email has been used, and I've been verifying that. Very simply because when I heard that Yahoo email was compromised, I did change my password, which means, um, you know, there's no danger because my password has been changed. It doesn't mean it's been used. That's very important to understand. And finally, River City uh, Media Spam List. Apparently, my email also is part of a spam bot list. Once again, that means 
uh, doesn't mean that you are being used. It simply means you're showing up on lists uh, for email and password that have been compromised in the past. If you have a Yahoo email, they're all going to show up as being pawned because they were uh, there was a big data breach in the past. So if you've changed your password, not to worry. It's just that your email is showing up on the list. Another example I'll give you here, uh, a another Gmail that I use quite frequently. And if you click Pond, of course I use it frequently. It's going to tell me data breaches, um, unverified exploit.ln, uh, so 216 huge list of email address and password pairs. Um, so I have been somewhere in a site that my email and of course I've changed passwords and I change passwords quite regu regularly on, on my accounts. Uh, when I used to use iMesh way, way, way back, uh, MySpace account from 2008, uh, all of that, it tells you where you could have been pawned. Once again, you don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have at all to uh, uh, close these emails or anything. Just change your password and it's enough to stay secure. But it's very important to understand that this exists and uh, verify your emails. The more you use your email with different services, the more chances your emails will have been pawned. Um, you know, I, I would guess that of everybody watching this that will go to this website, um, you know, nine out of 10 of you, you guys and girls will have this little red, oh no, you've been pawned. But don't worry and no panic. Change your password is the best way. Now, my email, like this one, that Gmail here that I'm testing here, it's already been changed. I know that I've changed it about six months ago. And uh, so I, I'm not, you know, afraid. And I do have two-factor authentication, meaning if somebody tries to log in, I, I get a warning on my Samsung phone. So it, uh, it, it, you know, I know I'm safe with this. But if you are not sure, change your password and it will be okay. Use a really complex password, very important. As long as you can, you know, 10, 12, 14 characters. Um, and turn on two-factor authentication if you can. It's one of the best ways to stay safe because now you get warnings. So check it out um, and uh, chances are, and don't worry, big chances are big that you will have been pawned somewhere but by changing your password you're safe if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you so much for following us on this channel hope this helps and share this video to uh, have everybody check out and uh, understand that security is very important and one last thing that I want to say before I go uh, by the way this website is in the description below the video you just have to click the link but remember I often get, well, I don't care if my email is compromised, I'll just do another one. Remember, your email sends emails to your friends and your family. They can be uh, scammed because you are careless with your security. Very important.